The city of Golpaigon, located in the Isfahan province, is an ancient land with many religious structures and monuments that portray the spirituality and faith of its people and their dedication to worship and prayer. The Jame Mosque of Golpaigon is one among the string of religious sites in the region which shines majestically in the heart of the city. This mosque was built during the Seljuk dynasty, about 1,000 years after the birth of Christ. It is one of the oldest and biggest mosques in Iran. The whole mosque is built out of brick, although the foundation is made from stone. The dome with a height of 22 meters is perhaps one of the masterpieces of this period, a structure that reached an immaculate state and boasted the architectural skills and expertise of its creators. As you enter the prayer hall, you are captured by the spectacular brickwork and all the intricate details on the walls. Brick motifs and stucco reliefs decorate the hall, creating a stunning atmosphere inside. The Saljuk period in Iran is regarded as the time when art and architecture reached maturity. It was at this age that various techniques developed and gained perfection. The walls and ceilings of this mosque display that perfection. The technique of brickwork dates back to the Achaemenid era and was always used in the Persian architecture, but it was only in the Seljuk period that this decorative artwork reached its peak and flourished. The first part of this is the first part of the Hejda Surah Tawbah, قسمت دوم نام ابو شجاع محمد ابن ملک شاه سلجوقی و قسمت سوم نام بانی این مسجد که در کتیبه دور محراب از نام ایشان دیده می شود. Another pilgrimage site in the city is the Imam Zade Hevdahtan Shrine, which was built about 400 years ago. This structure, which is currently undergoing renovation, is mostly known for its beautiful seven color tile work, calligraphy inscriptions, and unique wood carvings. Imam Zade Hevdahtan is a very important place in the city of 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 این بنا در زمان شاه عباس صفوی اول ساخته شده دارای چهار درب در جهات اصلی ساخته شده و ویژگی های اصلی این بنا میتوان به تزئینات زل شمالی این بنا که شامل نقاشی ها، کاشیکاری ها، هنر منبت، معرق و گرچینی اشاره کرد the striking plaster carvings, arabesque patterns and geometrical designs simply portray the aesthetic taste of the Iranian people and how they closely relate that to religion and mystic outlooks. The combination of religion and art, a place to reflect, pray and find peace but at the same time, take pleasure in the art that is rooted in history. Back in the 14th century, when people began to build shrines, a great deal of importance was given to exquisite arts, a sight for sore eyes. The decorative patterns all create a sense of unity and conformity, rooted in the deep and divine faith of their creators. In Islamic architecture, every architectural element is used to create a sense of harmony, inviting people in to pray. As night draws in, we come to the Sayyid Sada Shrine, where four descendants of two Shia Imams are buried. This shrine was built in the 14th century and is mostly known for its beautiful tile works. As we see here, in Bana Mitawan, the Vojud, two Ewan, Gombat, and Gombat Khane, and Goldaste, that nine meters from the ground are attached. Also, as we see here, the Barz in Bana Mitawan, in the Tarbiyat of the Tarbiyat, is attached to the Tarbiyat of 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 the
This shrine, like the other religious sites we saw today, simply displays the rich vocabulary of Islamic architecture, an approach and technique that makes use of eye-catching embellishments, ornamental details, radiant colors, rich patterns and symmetry to create a transcendent ambience in the space we're in, a sense of harmony and peace that disconnects you from the world outside. Odaleski for Iran. Eighty-five kilometers from the central city of Yazd, behind the mountains and deep in Iran's Kavir Desert, lies an ancient village with a surprisingly accommodating caravanserai that throughout centuries has always been a favorite place to spend the night at for travelers and desert adventurers trotting across Iran. The ancient village of Kharanag is still the first stop en route to Yazd, and many tourists still find this caravansaray the best place for a stopover before they arrive to the big city. According to archaeological data, Kharanag, which literally means the birthplace of the sun, dates back more than 4,000 years. Kharanag is two sites جالب داره که برای توریست ها همیشه جالب بوده یکی قلعه که مربوط به دوره ساسانیه یکی هم کاروانسرا مربوط به دوره قاجار هر دو تاش هم چون کنار همه خیلی فرصت خوبی که هر دوشو بشه ویزیت کرد در این حال طبیعت خیلی قشنگی هم داره یعنی منظره‌ای که هست خیلی جالب همیشه برای توریست ها و خیلی هم براشون جذاب این که یه دفعه وسط جاده یه روستایی که تقریبا ناشناخته است روی نقشه هم شاید اصلا نتونن پیدا کنن این همه آثار جذاب و تاریخی داشته باشه the beautiful ruins in this village, built in typical local style, bricks covered with mud, are definitely worth spending a couple of hours walking through the labyrinth of narrow streets and taking amazing pictures. One of the most interesting places that you can visit in the ancient village of Kharanag is the ancient fortress that you see behind me. The locals say that it dates back 4,500 years. Now, we don't know exactly how true that is, but we do know that until recently, people were still living in this fortress. Kharanag Fortress is one of the tourist attractions in Iran that should not be left out of your list. Nowhere else in the country will you find a residential fortress made of adobe, as intact as this one. یه قلعه بوده که همیشه درش زندگی بوده یعنی جز قلعه هایی که فقط در مواقع خطر ازش استفاده می شده نبوده بخاطر همین داخلش مسجد هست، حمام هست، هشتاد تا خونه داخل قلعه هست، خونه های دو طبقه هست، سه طبقه هست The maze-shaped alleys inside the fortress will get any outsider completely confused This is why throughout the centuries, thieves and bandits never risked coming inside One of the most interesting historical monuments in the village of Kharanag is this minaret that you see right behind me. It is among the shaking minarets, architecturally speaking. You've probably heard of the same kind of minaret in the city of Esfahan. Now this one is also of the same kind. The minaret is quite unique. It is actually a three-story building which has separate ways for getting in and out and the entire structure is made of adobe. While today we may find it a fun fact that the minarets of this kind shake, this is actually the reason why they were quake-proof. Je viens de France, la partie de française des Alpes. Eh bien, c'est très intéressant. Je découvre ce que c'est que la vie dans un oasis. Ça faisait longtemps qu'avec mon mari, on, on rêvait d'aller en Iran. On rêvait de, de voir ce pays et de l'admirer, quoi. Et puis, on n'est pas déçu. <laughs> ouais. um, I heard about the city before coming, reading about touristic places, but then when I got here, again, they told me about it. 
and I came to see it for myself. I think I was expecting a little bit, but I didn't really know how it was. So I had very high expectations about it, but it surely was not how I expected. It's even more beautiful. <laughs> In the vicinity of the village, there's an ancient bridge, the bridge that you can see right behind me. Judging by the architecture of the bridge, you can tell that there used to be a river flowing through. This is one of the oldest bridges in Iran, for centuries allowing the residents of Kharonakh to travel to the city by crossing the river that brought life to this remote part of the Kavir Desert. Gisumisha Ahmadi for Iran.